hey, I have two portable VR headsets with me, the Vive Flow and the Oculus Quest 2. Which one would you bring to the gym with you? I know which one I would choose. So we're at the gym and we have this uh, bicycle machine. You can see like just in the water bottle part, you can actually just store the Vive Flow. See, the cord is inside. I'm not a very good cord person, so it should look neater, but I just don't have the patience. And you can see, we got a VR headset here, right? Vive Flow in its beautiful form. Then we got Oculus Quest 2. This is already compact, you know, compact container, but it's, it's definitely not going to be like fitting in this little hole here. So, it's pretty nice. Oh hey, I was just using my Vive Flow to watch Netflix while I'm uh, working out at the gym. So I just started watching uh, The Queen's Gambit, uh, episode one, which I'm also in a chess fan, so I just enjoy that show. But I think it's really nice to have this whole immersive movie theater while I'm working out exercising so I can be fit and really be entertained, really enjoying that immersive experience. And the Vive Flow also has a password camera so I can actually outside world when I need to buy double tapping the button on top. So you can see as the person holding the camera moves more to the right, I can follow the camera because I can actually see uh, my surrounding world uh, if I need to. So you know of course I can just easily pick it up and look but you know this is also really cool. so I can switch between watching like a really immersive big movie or some kind of relaxing pretty environment to press two buttons that I can see my surrounding again. So I think it's a uh, pretty nifty feature. Really enjoy this product. I've only had it for a few days, but you know, it's already becoming one of my favorite gadgets. So this is the Oculus Quest 2 instead. And you can see it's a bit bulkier, it's a bit heavier. Of course, I have the uh, Elite battery pack in the back. So it is slightly heavier, but it provides some balance. Um, but you can see it's not as light and elegant as the Flow. You know, pros and cons. There's obviously some great benefits of the Oculus Quest 2. Uh, it's very popular, it has its place, but I think for portability, going down to places, taking it to places, and working out, uh, watching media, I do think the Vive Flow is a much more preferred experience. 